Hi everybody, my name is Angel and I would like to talk about the English language, its history, cultures, and arts as a tool. English history begins since King Arthur uh, from 5th century to 10th century, talking about the founders, Jews, and Britons, the Indo European English, Old English, Middle English, and this provides plenty of language families such as Germanic, Romantic languages, Old Norse, and Russians. After that, later modern English, this ancient age provides new spelling conventions, a new birth system, people as Shakespeare, for example. And after that, we got the early modern English, where Britons went in a world tour, where they took around 10,000 to 20,000 new words from new places and people. These uh, take us to the English and Internet, where all idioms and new words establish an international mother tongue, English. And with internet, everything became faster and evolved naturally. So the, the last era, it's the global English where you can find in the 21st century uh, new technological tools and chats emerge as a probation for your information as soon as possible, FYI and ASAP, etc. So when we talk about cultures, languages and teaching, there's three topics that you have to, uh, to read. For example, culture in foreign language teaching, functions in English, and culture differences in English teaching. For example, in the first topic, we can tell that teacher has to understand that culture is the meaning that members of a social group give to the discursive practices that they, uh, that they do. So functions in English, during a normal, natural conversation, these many different expressions are needed, are needed to show the speaker's level of intellectuality, politeness, and coherence. So to get those expressions in their or originality as the native speakers, they have to use them in their day-to-day -day life, then train on them in real conversation context with other people that speaks uh, really fluency English. And the last topic, and 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 it's really important, is the differences in English teaching. This means that every, everyone or every teacher has the ability to use it, understanding its meaning and connotations in terms of the target language and culture. And I would rather say that neither on their own should be teached in a specific way, both from the inside and from the outside. Cultures should help out teaching a foreign language. This means that an English teacher may demonstrate unique experiences and innovative methods, where methods as Realia and TPR will show students through experiences how they'll focus on pictures, things, animals, related social contexts about their community, and of course, compared with, in, with important places and landscapes around the world. So culture, teaching, and languages are related themselves as a circle.